Yo, what's up guys? Welcome, finally, to Black Ops 4. Don't have to worry about any betas, or anticipation, or waiting. It's finally out, full release. Multiplayer, blackout, zombies. And I'm just glad it's out, finally. <laughs> uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this. I've been playing multiplayer the most. Uh, I played a little bit zombies, a little bit blackout. Blackout's for sure the most popular for Twitch. And, um, uh, just like, entertainment-wise, because blackout is just... Uh, just it's honestly just starting if you think about it people are just gonna keep trying to get better and better because blackout and black um, I mean sorry battle royale mode is just so fun just the aspect of it dropping a hundred people a huge map last one alive it just feels great and the satisfaction of winning is great that's why people love it and keep playing and the creativity like every each game is different nothing happens the same in each game that's why it's crazy but I just been having a lot of fun with multiplayer um, I do, I love the other modes as well though. I played a little bit of Blood of the Dead because Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2 was like one of my favorite maps. And I remember that came out, that DLC for Black Ops 2 came out when I was in 8th grade. And we just went to Alcatraz as a field trip. And when that DLC was announced I was dropping, all our friends that went to Alcatraz were so hyped because it, it's so sick. Play, it would be so sick to play Alcatraz while uh, on a map that you went to. And I gotta say, it was just like when Alcatraz came out, Mob of the Dead, it was just like how we went to the field trip, like everything was the same. Cause I know, I know the developers, uh, the designers actually flew out to San Francisco and went and uh, went around and did it just like, just like uh, the real one. So they did a great job with that. So it was awesome seeing that. So I'm glad they put it back. A map I do want to see in the future for zombies is Die Rise, cause. That, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. That was my favorite. One of my favorite zombies maps. I just liked how it was. The outside was dark. Like, the sky looked dark. But the whole, like, area was light. And I like when zombie maps are light like that. It just makes it. I just enjoy it way better. And I love how in, um. Blackout, how. They even added, uh, zombies locations. Like, the on transit. The area with the diner. And the gas stations in, in there. And that's where zombies can be found. And when you kill zombies. They can drop. They can drop different items, including a ray gun. So I thought it's really cool that you can use a ray gun and blackout. Overall, I know this year of COD is going to be great. Control for multiplayer is my favorite mode right now. I think I don't even know if that's going to be a competitive mode, but I think it should. I'm excited. I'm excited to see competitive play again. I think Optic and 100 Thieves are the top two teams right now. I've always kept up with Optic, and then I like 100 Thieves a lot because my boy Nate shots in it. Who was I? 17 and 5? I end up going 56 and 13 in this mode. I think it's one of my best games. I need to get better. And I'm just trying to get better because grinding Fortnite all summer. Uh, I lost my Call of Duty touch. I haven't played Call of Duty since like, well, since the beta. But before that, like regular playing, like January or December from World War II. I mean, it was a good game, but and it was pretty fun. It just got old, and I wasn't trying to buy the DLC. I wasn't that intrigued by the DLC. And Treyarch's always been my favorite um, developers for making Call of Duties. I think they're top tier, and I don't think they have competition for the second best. Uh, I think they're the, I think they're just above everyone easily. I think most of the community community agrees too. In my opinion, Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty ever made, and I know uh, MW2. A lot of people say that, but that's just my personal preference. I just had a lot of fun with Nostalgia, and I think overall it was a great game. I think. Multiplayer was fantastic, and I, the zombies in Black Ops 2, I don't think any game will beat it. Hopefully this game, we'll see. I'm excited for DLC for this game, too. And I'm also hyped for Nuketown to come out. I'm surprised it wasn't coming out with the release, but we'll see. And also, I think I'm going to TwitchCon, because it's actually near where I live. I live in the Bay Area, and TwitchCon is in San Jose this year, so it's going to be so sick that it's actually this close. So I'm hoping to go. It's not too bad of a price. Uh, so it should be cool. I haven't been uploading as much of this game as I wanted to. Like this is my first regular video on it this year. Uh, I said in my last video I've been busy with school and transferring and applications and all that. It's annoying. It's it's a very uh, complicated process that shouldn't even be this complicated, but it is. So it is what it is. But after this October month, it should the craziness should dwindle down. So I'll be back to making more videos. Um, but I just decided to make this because it's one of my better games. But I'll be sure. I'm going to be trying to get a nuclear soon. Just when I get all 
my guns and things I want unlocked. I want to try the, like it's called the Vapor. But I've been using the Rockin' ICR and I heard that was probably one of the best guns anyway. So I've been liking it a lot. But yeah. I'm so glad the COD community and just everyone is loving Black Ops 4 because I just love Cherokee, so I love to see them thrive and win. And I, n I always know they're going to make a great game. But I play the shit out of Black Ops games. Honestly, uh, my first real COD I grinded was Black Ops 2 because I had Black Ops 1. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had Black Ops 1 for the Wii when I had a Wii. I didn't get my PS3 till like 2012, and that's when this dropped. I actually got Assassin's Creed 3 before Black Ops 2, and then I got Black Ops 2. And like for the first couple months, me and my friends were just grinding zombies. But total for Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, uh, for chart games, because they had a little stat tracker. If you guys saw on their Twitter, they posted. You just sign in with your PSN, and they'll link. They'll make a little video for you. And I had like 80,000 kills and like 500 and like over 500 hours played, something like that. But yeah, it's just, they're just so much fun games when you can play with your friends. Man. And it's just cool that they brought Firing Range back and they're bringing back old maps. And that's how that's how it gets people coming back and gets people intrigued. Because they're bringing new stuff back, but they're bringing some old stuff, nostalgia, that was so great that I'm glad they're putting it back. And then Black Ops is filled with with uh, maps you already know. And it's not like they copied and pasted, pasted it. Like They'll have Raid and they'll have Nuketown areas but nuketown is not it's not like the same buildings it's actually a little town that was nuked and all the bur all the buildings are burned and for raid there's like a little section that's just like raid but it it's more than that it branches off into a little other section that wasn't in the regular mode i wish raid was actually brought back that m map was so great maybe standoff in the future i know that was in black ops 3 so i don't know about that this year my first time using that dart <laughs> i didn't i forgot how to use it i think i used in the beta but I, I couldn't find anyone right there, so that was a fail. I like, dude, the RCXD is so OP. It has so much range. They'll, they'll shoot me from like almost 10 feet away and they'll still get killed. Watch, watch. <laughs> See? It's like, god damn. That's why I've been using it. But lately, I took it off because I'm using other streaks. But that's a good streak. It's OP. I feel like they might nerf it. <laughs> but, anyways, that's an update of what I've been doing. And. I plan to grind this game a lot, so you'll see some videos trying to grind up. I'm for sure getting that Master Prestige. But thank you guys for watching as always. Leave a like, comment if you're trying to grind. I'm always down to team up with someone that's good because or decent. Just be decent because they be giving me trash teammates. It's so frustrating because if you're trying to get people, well, people can argue, oh, you just get high kills. Who cares about winning? But if you play a mode like Control or Domination. You need to be winning to go off, you can't, or else they're just going to spawn trap you. So I'm always looking for some decent teammates that will help give me the dub and go off. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for your support as always. I'll see you in the next video, and I'll let you guys watch the rest. Peace. Defend all zones. Mercs are taking Alpha. I'm coming. Ready to launch sensor. We're contesting Bravo. K9 unit destroyed. We're contesting Red B. Down.
RCXD ready to deploy. Running out of flies. Care package available for tasking. We're contesting Bravo. We're defending Alpha. We're defending Bravo. We're defending A. Losing Alpha. Profit KIA. We're defending B. We're low on lives. Exercise caution. We've lost B. The enemy team have no lives left. They're taking A. We're contesting A. Enemy details down to one. Finish this. Perfect planning. Perfect execution. Nice work, Black Ops. Name. Who could save the game? My flow stupid fluid, got you looking clueless now. Who's the truest? I'm tattooed in bruises, got screws that loosen. Whose record's ruthless? Not you, not you. Not you. Most of all, be the whack rap repetitors. But at the end of our run, will they credit us? I'll probably be the illest rapper that.